Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Bridget Daly for Clever Music, hanging out with the guys from Mariana's Trench. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Fresh off a plane from Canada. Yeah. I like, like being the first stop. Yeah, like we came straight from the airport to here. I like that a lot. Yeah. So, speaking of being fresh off of something, you just finished the album, Ever After. Yeah, a couple days ago, and we pushed it to the <laughs> extreme limit. It was like right before the record, it was... I think our deadline was 9 a.m. It had to get delivered in New York at 9 a.m. and we finished it at 5 a.m. in, but in uh, Western time, so we, we finished it like the hour it was due, sort of wow. thing. Wow! Yeah. Wow! So like right up until the last minute, were you guys making changes, like yeah. big changes? Yeah. 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 Well, what we had to do was like I wanted the record to feel like one piece of music. So the whole record, the idea was that the whole record would play continuously. Right, um, I read that. That's and cool. So all the songs bleed into the next one. So we hadn't done all the transitions yet. <laughs> so that was what waited till the end. And at the time that we sent it off to the manufacturing people, we had never even listened to the album through, and we were just kind of hoping Whoa. that it was going to be good because we didn't have time to sit there for another hour and listen to the record after that to make sure that it all flowed okay. So we just kind of. We just kind of we're winging it, and we just ended up, but it did turn out good. So the title of the album is Ever After. You mentioned fairy tale, so it's a whole. Th it's it's basically like you know most of those modern day fairy tales are usually about uh, you know people getting trapped in some place and trying to get home. So that that's kind of what it is. Like you know like Narnia or any of those things are mm -hmm. always sort of have that theme to them, right? So it's it's kind of got that story. It's it's a thin story, but it, it does like it does sort of piece together all of the song lyrics and stuff, and it, it is sort of a cohesive thing. So does it have a happy ending? Mostly. It has a bit of a bittersweet ending, but it does have a happy ending, yeah. That's really cool. And what about like the album artwork? Does it like go with the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Oh, I'm very yeah, excited. Yeah, so, so in this fairy tale world, it's like, it's it's sort of like a Toyland thing where there all the evil characters are these toy soldiers and stuff. So for all the artwork, uh, we wrote out the story and, it, and it, the album booklet actually looks like a, like a children's like book. Oh, a story cool. Book. And then there's pictures of us where they took, I don't know, how do you guys explain how those look? It's hard to explain. It's kind of like they made us look like toys, so yeah. it's like they superimposed. They changed all the joints on your arms, so it like looks like you're like yeah, men. Oh know, my or, god. Or like toy Toy soldiers, soldiers right? Yeah. Except I'm, they're all soldiers and I'm a jack in the box, so I have like no legs and a spring coming down into That's this thing. Yeah, it's cool. That's great. That's yeah, it's awesome. Cool. It's like Toy Story like on speed or something. Mm, it's like Toy Story <laughs> if, if Tim Burton had done it or something. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I really like that. Well, speaking of singles, I mean, you have, haven't had enough is out and the music video, gotta say, like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Well, that was the, thank you. That was the, we were trying to sort of open the story with us getting trapped in there and getting turned into toys and stuff because that's sort of what happens on the on the record, right? So I think it's a little confusing, the video, but yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it because we know what's going on and everybody else is like, what is this? It's I still cool. Like, yeah, it's it like cool. stimulus. Yeah, there's a lot of that. It definitely keeps you watching, that's for Yeah, fair. it's flashy. <laughs> if you watch our videos, we like lots of stimulation and not necessarily common sense. It's just like, more information. And rarely yeah. serious. The videos no, are rarely yeah. serious. Well, I really like it because it tells a story. So, what is the what's the concept behind it? How much kind of creative control did you guys have over it? Um, it's always a joint thing with us and the whoever's directing. Um, that one was pretty. It started out that we wanted to do a lift up video. That was the original idea. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, let's do let's do a big lift up video, and we'll get like five thousand people in it, and they'll all be singing the song. We'll do that. And then it was like, well, wouldn't it be cool if we kind of did? It was like a lift up video, but we were getting trapped in this Toyland thing, like on the video. And then we sort of slowly ditched the lift up thing. And there's still a few bits like that, but that that idea kind of went out the window. So you're from Canada and you've made the transition over to the U.S. Come so far. <laughs> so what was it like? Was it like, you know, getting into the U.S. market after being so big in Canada? Was that tough for you guys or was it an easy transition for you? Uh, I think it's kind of fun starting over. You know, it's easier or it's different because when you've uh, sort of started from the bottom and worked your way up somewhere, at least now you know you can do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. The first time there's a little bit of blind faith, you're hoping it happens. Right. We know we've got the tools and like the songs and like the, the ability to get there. Whether it happens or not, it's hard to say. There's a lot of factors and luck that come into play. But um, it's different when you don't know 
you're just trusting that it's good, but I feel like, you know, we know the product, like what we have and what we've worked on is, is good stuff and it makes it a little bit easier. You can go there with a lot more confidence. You guys, uh, looking to the future, are heading out on a really cool tour. Forever the Seconds Kids, The Cab, Simple Plan. How do you guys hook up with all those guys? Um, the Simple Plan thing, like, they're obviously they're also Canadian, uh, and we've played. I don't think we've played shows with them, but we've done like in, in Canada. There's stuff where we'll like we've headlined the festival one day, and then they've done it the next day. So we've kind of hung out with them a few times. Cool. Uh, and it was just sort of a it was a good opportunity for us to get some exposure in the United States, uh, and then you know we could. Uh, then when we do the tour in uh, in Canada, we can actually help and bring some people out. So like it was sort of like we're doing each other a favor kind of thing. But it's gonna awesome. be fun. I think it's gonna be really cool. And I read this. I don't know if it's true. I mean, I read it on the internet, so I'm assuming it is. Everything on the internet is true. So you guys are going out on tour with All Time Low as well in the future. They're on the That's simple right. plan. Yeah, right. They're they're, they're on the, the Canadian, Canadian leg. They're on the Canadian ah, leg. okay, cool. So it's yeah. gonna be like the second leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. They're doing the Canadian leg, which should be fun. Um, we haven't played shows with them before. Uh, but we've spoken to each other online, I suppose. That's oh, cool. It, but it should be fun. Since you guys are going out on tour, I have to ask you, what is your most bizarro fan experience that you've ever had? Uh, I know there's got to be something crazy so someone's done. a tough question. Cause oh, there's tons. Tons. Oh, there was Everything a, starts to seem normal. Yeah. A girl made a doll of me and cut off her own hair and dyed it blue and taped it to the doll as the hair, and it looked alarmingly like a voodoo doll. And she's like, I made this for you. Oh, my God. Okay, that is not normal. That's great. So That's when a that becomes story. normal for you, just know that me from the outside. Of that, should that should never be normal. That should never be normal. There was a fan that polit er, politely asked all of us if she could, like, she wanted to come up and just like lick our face. Oh Do you yeah. Remember that? Yeah. that was, she was dead she serious. Was serious. Dead serious. Dead serious. I remember she was, uh, and I was like, you know, she would, she would, love, like, she would oh, creep oh around. I forgot about that. She looked like uh, Jim Carrey in Ace Ventura when he was <laughs> yeah. doing that thing. Like she looked just like that, but she was creeping it was around like and her face licking. Or something. People. It wasn't like a sexual thing. It was just no, like, she just, just wanted. To it's fun to be near you guys. Yeah. So just really quick to recap, um, the album Ever After comes out November twenty first. Yep. Digitally in the U S. And I want you guys to just give me like a few adjectives. Give fans a little taste of what we can expect. Give me like three solid. Mo. Spicy. Oh. It's very picante, yeah. I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's an adventure. <laughs> and you know what it is? It, it really moves around stylistically a lot, but I think the fa So the potpourri? It's Shit a mix. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Gumbo. Ah. <laughs> Gumbo. It's a, it's a <laughs> Gumbo like. It's a booyah base of <laughs> melodies and notes and rhythms <laughs> that takes you on a sensory adventure. <laughs> That's beautiful. Enjoy. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, guys. You guys have been great. Thanks for Thank stopping you. by. Thanks for having Thank us. Good Thank luck you. on the tour. And you guys, Thank in you. the meantime, while you're waiting for the album, make sure to check out Haven't Had Enough. The music video is sick. You'll love it. The info is down below in our info box. I'm Bridget Daly for Clever Music, and I'll catch you next time.